hailing back from the days of Metarot Duel. It is the crimson twin of the knee of the fighting Neo pair. It is AGO0 Neo Kaiko with the kit of Fight Boost, Double Sword, Biped Legs, and the leg ability of Auto Charge, which passively fills Meta Force Gauge every turn an action is completed. Now, as a model that's available in the permanent banner as a two-star model, Neo Kaiko is a model that pretty much everyone can get a hold of very easily within their first, say, even three or four tutorial pulls at best, because he's a very common model to collect. And despite the fact that he is a common model, he is actually packing some very well-rounded skills that synergize not just with each other very well, but is a very beginner-friendly model for anyone needing some something to get up close and personal. Fight Boost on the head is a support-based skill that, once activated, will buff melee damage of himself and all allies that also are using melee parts by about 50%, so that a very impressive base damage he does come packing with will be going considerably higher once that effect does go into place, not just for himself, but also for any melee-based allies that he's coming with. Sword on both arms are melee-based parts that you can generally never ever go wrong with using for their incredible balance across the board. Good power, good heat, cool, good success, and no real dr uh, drawback on your, pedal on your cooldown penalty, which means you can run back and forth and use Sword as often as you want and not really face any major consequence for doing so. Head legs also means that Neo Kaiko will have very good coverage across all terrains as arguably one of the most well-rounded of all the leg types in terms of leg compatibility of terrain compatibility. But he also has a very interesting kit that if used correctly can actually kind of make himself more of a menace than you actually expect him to be. In the armor department, he is relatively light as expected of a close range fighter type with a head HP of about 3250 arms about 2,900 each, which is just a little bit squishy in terms of compared compared to most other melee type models, and his legs at about 3,350. So a fairly decent HP pool, I suppose, as ex to be expected for a uh, male type, but definitely not the most healthy there is either. So a good hit or two will knock him out moderately quick. His leg stats are kind of there though, as a kind of a well-rounded leg in this case too, with a leg mobility at 691, kind of cupping the very lower end in terms of where you want your minimum mobility to be. So while he is very well rounded in terms of his kit between fight boost and double sword, he is going to be relying relatively heavily on his heat and cool, as well as any meta rotter or power up chip bonuses to really boost his speed any higher than that. And Evada 702 isn't too shabby either, but also not great as this does mean he will be tanking a good chunk of blows and not really focus too heavily on dodging or grazing. A melee resist of 1220 is actually to be expected of a melee fighter much like him, so he is capable of being able to hold his own up close and personal moderately well, but he does have a shoot, res a shoot resist of 737, which isn't terrible but also isn't great either. So exercise caution if you are using Neo Kaiko against anyone that is using long range combat. Overall though, with all this being said, as a pure set score, I still do have to rate him a very solid 7 out of 10. Even though auto charge is a relatively weird addition, given that fight boost and sword don't need metaphors in order to be used to their fullest potential, it is still very good to hold on to in the case you want to make use of a, met a last ditch metaphors nuke or even a skill buff before he ends up falling. So maybe as like a fail safe or a last resort, it can be seen as a good ace in the hole. But Neo Kaiko is one of those models that can be very easily used pretty much right out of the box, which means he's very beginner friendly to anyone that needs conventional melee parts. As mixed parts for this very same reason, I have to very easily rate him an eight out of 10 because his parts are very easy to collect they have moderately good stats too, with both of his arms packing at least 12 or 1300 base power each, and neither are heavy either, which makes them very flexible and easy to use. And even if his leg stats are fairly decent and passable at best, the auto charge leg ability could honestly be put to very good use on a Metaforce Reliant uh, fighter. That could involve anyone using, say, Brake Hammer, or Ghost, or Laser, or Hyper Beam. As if it requires Metaforce to charge, Auto Charge might be a very good alternative to some budget legs you can make use of in the meantime until you get a hold of something stronger and better.